the curtain is coming down on Eugene 2022 this has been incredible the French will be on the outside in this women's 4x1 Canada just off the podium last year in Tokyo watch for Stavern on the second leg they ran really well yesterday to make it. Great Britain. Victoria Uhurugu, younger sister to Olympic and world champion Christine Uhurugu, on the lead leg. Seven medals in a row from Helsinki 05 to London 17. They'd love to get back there. No place for Alison Felix this time. Talitha Diggs. And they're using Mohamed and McLaughlin on three and four. The Jamaicans have won this title twice. Bronze last year in Tokyo. That's a nice cheeky look from Candice McLeod. And a bronze in Doha. Will the Belgian women be inspired by their male counterparts who've just produced the bronze? They were seventh in Tokyo and even closer to the podium in Doha. Second from the inside, the Italians. And then in one, Switzerland, anchored by Yasmin Giga. USA were the fastest qualifiers. Very little to choose between them and Britain. They're in five and six, and the Jamaicans qualified third fastest. The bronze medalists from Doha and Tokyo are in lane four. Switzerland one, Italy two, Belgium in three. The bronze medalists, Jamaica, in lane four, the third fastest qualifiers. The Olympic champions and defending champions, USA, outside them in five. Great Britain in six, Canada seven, France eight. The last track event of a spectacular ten days of track and field on the west coast of the United States to the host nation taste gold at the very end of a spectacular journey. I really hope you've enjoyed the athletics here. Savour this, because the memories of tonight will have to keep us going all the way to Hungary next August. Diggs for USA. Moving well round that bend, trying to close the gap on Victoria Uhurugu of Great Britain. It's fairly even at the moment. The Jamaican McLeod will start to make up some ground, you would think, showing all that strength round this bend. It feels like a long leg, this one. Crowder on their feet. Good running as well by McDonald of Canada. USA just from Great Britain, Canada and Jamaica. These four quite a way clear. Then a gap to the French, and then on the inside, Belgium, Italy and Switzerland. And for the USA, that's Abby Steiner. She ran the second leg on the women's 4x100 metres that came away with the gold medal yesterday. But you say, why is a 200-meter runner in the 4x4? She ran a 48.92 this season when running for the Kentucky Wildcats. Great work here. What a race in prospect. Steiner with Russell coming up on her shoulder the fastest three nations in qualifying are almost neck and neck and don't rule out the Canadians what a roar round this first bend can the USA pull away and produce yet another gold Great Britain have got a wonderful history in this event and it's Jesse Knight down the back straight. But Stephanie Ann McPherson has been tracking the Britain. And the Jamaicans trying to close down on Britain Wilson. This is a brilliant end to, the, end to this leg by the Jamaicans. 500 metres to go to determine the last track medal of Eugene 2022. It would be poetic if the Americans won it. But live sport never follows a set script. Listen to the noise. Listen to the noise for Sydney McLaughlin. 
Sharaki Young is more than capable of pushing her close. Great Britain look comfortable in third with Lavi and Nielsen. But this is Sydney McLaughlin on the same track where she's broken the 400 hurdles world record again and again and again. She is surely not to be denied a second gold medal. This is the kind of moment that sets the hairs on the back of your neck to attention. Such a special athlete, such a special, special 10 days in the United States. And it is going to be a glittering golden finish for Sydney McLaughlin and the Americans. 317.7. The Jamaica take a richly deserved silver and Great Britain are on the podium again after missing out in Doha and Tokyo. A brilliant run by McLaughlin. The Jamaicans made them work hard for that. Young round that last leg looked at one stage as though she might begin to close. But no one, no one was to, de to deny McLaughlin a second gold of the week. She finishes where she started on top. USA taking the final track gold of Eugene 2022. Well, then look at that U.S. team. Three college athletes and the world record holder. Talk about the depth in the United States in the 400 meters and two 400 meter hurdlers on that squad. There you see Cherokee Young, Texas A&M student as well, anchoring that Jamaican team. The noise as she came down the home straight was absolutely incredible. I know the British team will be over the moon with that bronze because, as I said, they got in a habit of being on the podium with the 4x4. Seven medals in a row and then fourth in Doha and fifth in Tokyo. But that was a fine, fine run. They've come home in 322.64. The United States weren't that far. They weren't that far away from the world record. Speaking of world records, Duplantis, is it on? Oh, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. How could we finish any other way than with a world record from the greatest pole vaulter our sport has ever seen? He cannot believe it. You could not script that any better. USA storming to the last track goal with Sydney McLaughlin, who smashed her own world record in blistering fashion. And then just when you thought it was all over, Duplantis, as he did at the World Indoors, finishes the action with a moment of unprecedented greatness. Mondo Duplantis has taken his world record ever higher his achievements go ever further the only question is how many more times will he seize these wonderful nights and sign off in his own inimitable style <laughs> world record after world record after world record and it shouldn't be forgotten tonight with his gold he completes his collection of global titles. At 22, he has already done everything. And look at what it means. In 2019, he was happy to get on the podium. Sam Kendricks came away with that gold medal, but just three years, of, three years of maturity, and he's dominating the event. Unbeatable. tonight has had absolutely everything let me just clarify for you we have never had more nations striking gold at the same world championship as we have here the previous best was 26 we're already up to 28 USA have become the most successful nation at a single world championship with 32 medals East Germany had the previous record with 31 in Rome. And tonight, 
we have seen the two fastest times over the 100 meter hurdles. One of them was world record legitimate, the other wasn't because of the wind. And we've seen Mondo de Plantis become the most prolific six meter jumper in history and break his own world record. What a night for so many, many different reasons. This final sign off from Eugene will never ever be forgotten. Let's enjoy these pictures for a moment. They need no words. Mondo Duplantis signs off with another world record, completing his collection of global crowns and becoming the most prolific six metre vaulter in history. Not bad for a night's work. Chris Nielsen with the silver and Ernest John Obina, the first Filipino to be on a world championship podium, and he did it with an area record to boot. The American celebrations will go on and on. And Dan, I'm so pleased we, we've got to a position where we've had so many nations tasting gold. It proves that athletics is the number one global sport. From an American point of view, what pride you will take from 32 medals, the greatest single nation medal hall in world championship history. Well, the question was, could the United States host a world championship? And they not only hosted a great world championship, they did it very uniquely. It was an intimate setting. And we know that here in the United States, there are tons of track fans. Let's see what we can do in the next couple of years to just continue to grow and build on this success. USA, Jamaica and Great Britain, the last three track medalists of Eugene 22.